guys so today i'm going to be filming a nail video so the first thing i do is prep the natural nails and to do this you have to push back your cuticles and remove all the dead skin i have really thick cuticles so this can take a while and it's very annoying but it needs to be done to avoid any lifting on the nail plates Once I've done this I use a file to gently roughen up the surface of the nail so that the glue can adhere to it. I also file down my nails if they have any length on them as I don't like that coming through the acrylics. Next I size out the nail tips. This usually doesn't take very long as I kind of know what size I am for each nail and there's a couple which I have to cut or file down to make sure they properly fit because you don't want a nail tip that's too big or too small. Then I dehydrate my nails and to do this I use the Glitter Bells dehydrator. Next I glue on the nail tips. I usually use a elegant touch brush on nail glue but I couldn't open that for the life of me so instead I use the glue which comes in my pressed on nail kits which I make and sell. If you're interested in buying any check out my Instagram which is stylist on wheels underscore. These are all the files that I use, my favourites are the glitter bells. Next I use an acid free primer, again this is the glitter bells one and I put this on my natural nails, you don't need to put this on the tips. Then I cut the nails down to the rough length that I'd like, I tend to do quite short acrylic nails because I just find they're easier to manage. Long nails look lovely but my favourite length is the length I'm going for here and I tend to always go for coffin shape. So now I just file the nails into the shape that I'd like them to be, which like I said is coffin. Always make sure you file it over the top of the nail as well to remove the shine. This is so the acrylic will stick nicely. the glitter bells odorless monomer because i suffer with chronic migraines and the other monomers are just way too strong for my head and it just really hurts when putting the monomer into the jar i do usually use a pipette but i couldn't find it anywhere this brush is a glitter arty size 10 acrylic brush the powder i'm using is the glitter bell soft cover pink and the jar that I use for the monomer is from Glitter Bells. Before filming this video, I hadn't done any acrylic nail for a little while, so I was a bit rusty with my powder to monomer ratio. Also noticed with different powders from Glitter Bells, you need a different amount of monomer to make them a runny bead or a dry bead, so I was just sort of getting the hang of this powder as I hadn't actually used it before. I usually use the Glitter Bell Snowdrops white powder. So as you can see I'm a little bit rusty with the consistency of good beads that I'm creating but it all takes time. I also just wanted to say I'm so sorry for the amount of times my head gets in the way of the camera angle. I've tried to cut out as much of that as possible but I also didn't want to cut out too much of the actual nail work that I'm doing. 
so I will be making sure for future videos that I work out a way to record better and without my head getting in the way. <laughs> Due to the monomer that I use, I actually have to cure my nails in a LED lamp to make the acrylic cure. Usually you wouldn't have to do this, but due to this being an odourless monomer, I have to cure it under the lamp. I tap my brush over all the nails to check they're completely cured and then I file into shape because especially today my acrylic application is very messy. I was struggling a lot with my hands being super shaky and super weak so that showed in the acrylic nails unfortunately. I tend to use a hand file to file the shape and then use an e-file over the top of the nail to make sure it's all nice and smooth. also make sure to go over the cuticle area with the e-file to make sure the acrylic is nice and flush to the cuticles and there's no lumps or bumps. Once I filed the nails down and got everything in shape, I then buff each nail gently with a buffing block. I've done that I use some alcohol and wipe the nails down to make sure there's no dust or dirt or fluff or anything on the nails as I'm going to be using gel and I don't want that to get in the gel colour. 
Next I do a gel base coat on the nails. This is actually something that isn't essential when doing acrylics but I personally just prefer to do it with a base coat. As I was filming this on two days, I decided to use a non-wipe top coat. This is what the nails look like once they have the top coat on. And it's the next day so time to finish nails off properly. So I'm using a Model Ones gel polish in the shade First Love. This colour isn't very opaque, it's not completely sheer but it does take a while to build up with multiple coats. This is a golden platinum gel polish which is a gorgeous sparkly gold. just going in with a top coat on all the nails. This is a Model Ones gel polish in the shade Cream, it's a pure white colour. I'm just putting it onto this little dish so that I don't have to keep going back into the bottle with the brush. So now the 
design is coming together a bit more so I'm just going over white where it needs to be better and more opaque and creating more lines and arrows. rose gold and copper metallic kind of colour. I have lots of these foils in so many different colours and I absolutely love the look of them but I find them so fiddly as you can see so I do struggle quite a lot with putting them on because they're just so fiddly. I got all the foils on in the place that I wanted so I just did another top coat on that nail and all of the others so that they now have two layers of top coat to make sure they don't chip at all. And as you've probably noticed I don't do my thumb whilst I'm doing my fingers. I prefer to leave the thumb until last so that I can, when curing, I can make sure I cure the entire thumb, not just one side, because of the position of the bulbs and lights on the lamp. So I'm just using the same First Love colour from the Model 1's gel polish. like comment and subscribe and let me know if there's any more videos like this or just any others at all which you'd like to see